Today I fucked up by practicing blow jobs on a too soft banana and needing my parents to Heimlich maneuver it out. I have never given a blow job, and I decided today was the perfect day to practice. I went downstairs to find a phallic shaped object, decided a banana would do, and brought it up to my room. I sat on the bed, found some oral sex porn and I started to imitate it. Yes. I know porn isn't a great example of sex but I also thought a banana was phallic enough so clearly I didn't know what I was doing. The girl in the porn video was going bananas, pun intended, on the D so I did the same thing. What ended up happening was that that I squeezed the bottom end of the banana too hard that the banana meat shot out of the peel and into my throat. I started gagging on the ripe banana mush that was injected into the back of my throat and my earphones became unplugged. The porn started blasting high volume sex noises as I sat on the bed gagging on banana mush. My parents, hearing sex noises and gagging coming from my room, opened the door and found me on the bed, chopping on banana meat. There were hardcore porn noises in the background as my mother rushed onto the bed and started to Heimlich maneuver the banana out. My father tried to help my mom and we ended up getting all the banana out of my throat. They gave me an awkward pat on the back and left the room, closing the door. The porn ended by the time everything was all cleaned up, but I don't think anything can be the same. I am still hiding in my room, with the smell of banana reminding me of my shame. Too long didn't read, practiced a blowjob on a banana, banana shoots out of the peel and into my throat and my parents said to give me the Heimlich maneuver to save my life with porn playing in the background. Take my upvote for banana meat, I might even have some banana meat for a snack right now. Not many today I fucked up posts make me feel sympathy, but I want to give you a hug. Maybe a gift basket with bananas. They gave me an awkward pat on the back and left the room, closing the door. The pat on the back is the best part. You'll get there, honey. When using veggies and fruits, always use a condom, and maybe tie a string to the end of said condom for safety. If your parents have any sense of humor at all, you are going to be in for an interesting evening the first time you introduce them to a new boyfriend. Today I fucked up by hiding the receipt to the engagement ring I just bought poorly. My GF found it while I was at work. This happened literally an hour ago. I still don't know how to process this. Do I own it, or do I pretend like I don't know what she's talking about? So I bought this engagement ring for my girlfriend a couple of weeks ago. I've been waiting for the jeweler to finish up the ring so that I can approve, pick up the final product. The jeweler instructed me to hold on to the receipt until I took delivery. So I did as any stupid man would do. I folded up the receipt, hid it in the pocket of my favorite hoodie, and stuck the hoodie in the back of the closet. I just got done working 12 hours and I came home to find that she had done the laundry and very nicely refolded all of my clothes. Much to my dismay, I found the receipt sitting on the bedside table, and not in the pocket of the hoodie that I left it in. She knows. She won't admit it but she knows. WTF do I do? Do I own it, or do I just play along with it? Yes. I'm an idiot for not hiding it better. Crucify me for my stupidity, but please offer some decent advice. Yours truly, a genuinely freaking out gentleman. Too long didn't read, I hid the receipt to the engagement ring I just bought poorly and my girlfriend found it. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Edit. For those of you asking, I'll definitely give you an update in a few weeks. Thank you for all of the advice. Well I feel like the engagement should never be a surprise, but the proposal should. I'd assume you two have talked or planned for marriage slash life together so having a ring is something she'd most likely expect if you have already agreed you two want to marry each other one day. She didn't see the actual ring, right? So that's still a surprise. She doesn't know how you're going to propose. That's still a surprise. She doesn't know when you're going to propose. That's still a surprise too. If anything, you could look at this as a way to ease your mind a little bit. If she wasn't planning on saying yes she probably wouldn't have been excited or would have straight up talked to you and said she wanted you to return the ring because she would say no if you asked. Still, 
All she knows is you have a ring ready. She doesn't know anything else. If anything it'll be a funny joke slash story between you two one day. Maybe you could tell it at your wedding how she found he receipt and you were so flustered thinking you ruined the whole surprise but it obviously turned out okay. This happened to me. I always check the mail, and the jeweler mailed him a folder with appraisal information and other stuff. I didn't say anything. She probably won't either. Just continue with your proposal plans and enjoy married life. Did you ever find your Christmas presents early when you were a kid, and find that you were getting something you wanted? Did that ruin everything? No, the anticipation and excitement was still there. Just pretend like she didn't find out and proceed with your plans. It will be fun regardless. If she loves you and you love her it shouldn't matter. If anything she's probably really happy and can't wait for you to do it. I'm sure that whatever you were planning will still work and you will be really happy in marriage. I really hope so. I've known she's my person for a long time. I've finally gotten to the point where I'm comfortable making sure she is my person for the long haul. Maybe she didn't read it. You'll know soon enough, she'll have a tell if she knows what it was. I just asked if she put the receipt there. All I got was a very devious smile. Today I fucked up by getting distracted and stripping in front of my Zoom lecture. This isn't even a clickbait title. Today I fucked up, like 5 minutes ago, by underwear shopping instead of paying attention in my Zoom class. I've been scrolling through underwear for a while and entirely forgot that I was actually in class and my camera was on. I knew my current pair was comfy and wanted to buy something similar, so I decided I needed to figure out what material it was. Here is where I fuck up. I stood up to check, and it hits me that I'm still in my pajamas and should just change into new pants. So, of course, I start to strip off my shorts and underwear, coochie literally out, then realized WTF was happening and ran back to my laptop. I turned off my camera and left the meeting immediately. Didn't even check if anyone reacted. The class is still going on. Do I go back? Do I email the professor? Do I withdraw from this class? Question mark someone was giving a speech during this moment so it's possible. I hope to God probable that no one actually saw and everyone was in speaker mode watching that person and didn't actually see me. But IDK, no one said anything audible like hey yo you got your camera on sis. I'm literally considering just withering up and dying our NWTF do I do. Too long didn't read, today I fucked up by getting distracted and taking off my pants in the middle of a zoom lecture. Edit, thanks for your input. Feeling less horrifically embarrassed, more like it's just pretty funny. People keep asking for updates. There isn't really one. No idea if anyone saw and honestly I'd if I ever will, unless I see someone post about me somewhere, lol. There was no noticeable reaction from the professor or other students, but I wasn't in gallery mode to see them and I left the meeting almost immediately when this happened. I rejoined after like 10 minutes, and no one said anything. Hope I'm in the clear. This is probably one of the best stories I have read in a while. Have an upvote. I'm glad you enjoyed it because it's probably one of the worst things that's happened to me in a while. I'd if I can even handle telling my friends or anyone other than strangers on the internet. I held a public meeting for work earlier this week on Zoom, and one reporter was picking his nose and eating it for a good 6 minutes straight. Everyone saw. Your FU is way less horrible than that. Everyone has human parts. Once you've seen a few they're all the same. Don't sweat it too much. Play it off as a power move. You have asserted dominance in that class. Own it. Glad this is top comment because it's true. What? I'm just all of a sudden going to start wearing pants in my own home for some drive. Zoom puss. How many people in the class? More people means higher chance someone wasn't in speaker mode, but it also means that your picture would be smaller and less likely to have been noticed. Good luck I guess. Hope no one saw. It's only a 20 person class, so if anyone was in gallery mode instead of speaker mode they definitely saw me. But also, 20 isn't that many people, and this class is pretty dry. So I'm praying that most of the other people weren't paying attention. I'd this is absolutely terrible. Was the class recorded? If yes, 
I would probably say something. Otherwise I wouldn't do anything, just go to class as you normally do. Also, this us really a good story, smiley face.